I can ask Matt and see him. Cool. Oh, you want a 25? Yeah. All right. And, uh, there you go. He may can remember. Set it right here and let me take a look at everything you got. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Battle Royale. That's a pretty fun game. Bloodstone. Man, Uncharted is probably the best, one of the best game series. That truck wasn't so loud. Tony Hawk, heck yeah, Hulk, Sonic Heroes, everything's in there? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Smash. Mario Kart. And then the little chip for the, the clear controllers right here in front of it. Okay, cool. 150? Yes, sir. Alrighty. That should be it. Count that. Make sure it's all there. Twenty. Eighty. Cause y'all turn them down. We'll turn them down. I don't even know if they work, to be honest with you. That's alright. And if they don't, we'll see. Oh, good. You won't be Did you find any more? No, I hadn't. I hadn't. Taking a look yet? Yeah, we're still working. What about, um, do you think maybe the system is still around? It might be at my house. Okay. I could ask Matt and see if he Cool. Remember. You want a 25? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, uh, there you go. He may can remember where. 60, it's, it's got, um, I've done, um, I've done upgraded, I modified it. So it's got, uh, the memory cards on it are way, it's got two memory cards that stay in it. Um, it's got the two wireless controllers, and it's got a, I got a stack of games probably about yeah, this tall. Come back here, Come here, Emmett. What? You ain't supposed to be back here. Did you bring that piece, Melinda? You don't want them? What piece? For the controller. Did I put it in my pocket? Come here, Emmett. Yeah, I, don't, I ain't letting him. I mean. I ain't asking much for it. But I mean, like I said, I got the games I got for it, man. I got a, a stat like this for it, I mean.
All right, folks, got a package in today from Canada. This comes from Aaron Blockzill. Uh, Aaron, if I'm mispronouncing your last name, I apologize. Uh, but he sent me a message, uh, I believe it was last week or two weeks ago, and said that he wanted me to work on his Game Boy and that he had a few extra things that he was throwing in this package. So I have no idea what he's got in here. But, let's take a look. Oh, I see some cool stuff in here. Um, we'll take a look at the Game Boy. We got a, uh, just a standard, a standard gray. Let's take a look at the condition here. Alright, seems to be in pretty good condition. There's no corrosion on the battery terminals. Does have a couple of scuffs on the back that I can probably clean up. There are some scratches on the uh, screen lens, but I will be replacing that with a brand new glass lens. And I believe he wants me to backlight it and install a Bivert chip into it. But uh, I love working on these original color Game Boys. They always turn out to be really nice. And of course, gotta love the bubble wrap. Appreciate it, Aaron, on the bubble wrap. Then he included some cups here. These look like Nintendo Switch cups. These are really cool. Let's see. We got... Let's see. Oh yeah, all three are Zelda Link's Awakening cups. Very awesome. Um, these actually came from 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven? Oh man. I wish 7-Eleven was, was down here in my area. But, uh, so there's the first one. And then we've got, like, the, uh, the cover art for the actual game. Which, that looks really cool. It says Slurpee on the side. Fantastic. These make great, like, sweet teacups. <laughs> then we got this one. Slurpee on the side. Fantastic. Aaron, thank you so much. And I will be getting in touch with you. And we'll go over the details on your Game Boy. But once again, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Folks, on to the next. Yeah. Or if you go to Broadway, there's a place in Broadway, sell them too. And then there's a place in like downtown Savannah that they carry tons of stuff like that. Yep. Yeah, that's right. How much you want for that? A dollar. A dollar? All right. You have change for twenty. Uh. Who does, Robert? Alright. Are you guys ready to go? Okay, YouTube, let's take a look at everything we've got left over. A lot of this is listed, some of it's not, uh, but we will just go through it. Uh, started the week off picking up a 500 gigabyte Super Slim 
uh, PS3 with two controllers, a little stack of games. Got some over here. We got some more over here. And also uh, an N64 with two controllers and three games. Those three games have already sold as well as the expansion pack that was in the N64. I always replace the expansion packs with these. These are the Super Retro 64 booster packs. I order these in bulk off of eBay. And you can usually get them for, you know, like five for like 16 or 17 bucks. But take the expansion pack out, pop in one of those, sell the expansion pack separately, maximize your profit. Uh, with the games that came with that bundle, we've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, uh, Hulk on the Xbox, and Sonic Heroes on the Xbox. As well as Splinter Cell Trilogy, which that's a double for me. Uh, we got Uncharted, Drake's, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. This is missing the case. But we got the cover art, the disc, and uh, the manual there. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Red Dead Redemption, Uncharted 2. I've got these PS3 games bundled with the system, and that is already listed. And then these three games, I'll probably just uh, I'll probably just throw those in my yard sale. The games that I'm keeping out of that are going to be Bloodstone 007. Gran Turismo 5, and PlayStation All-Stars Battle uh, Royale. Then we picked up an awesome N64 game lot. Uh, two of those games have already sold. That's Pokemon Stadium 2 and Donkey Kong 64. The games that I've got left are going to be Banjo-Kazooie, 1080, Yoshi's Story, Wave Race, Super Mario 64, Star Fox 64, Pilot Wings, Hey You Pikachu, Bomberman, and Pokemon Snap. As you can tell, all games that are going to be easy to sell. And also from that lot, we've got Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. This is a game I did not have for the N64 collection. So I've already put an end label on that, and that's going into the collection. Um, I received a trade from Rain Bean this week. I traded him a copy of Mario Kart 64 for a copy of Space Station Silicon Valley. Uh, label's not in the greatest condition, but my Mario Kart wasn't in the greatest condition either. So I'm still happy to add this. I have not found that yet. Uh, it's got a nice back on it, um, but definitely going to be a game that I'll be looking for a label upgrade in the future. Uh, but happy to add that to the collection now. Then found another N64 bundle, this time at the pawn shop, and it came with nine games. It did have an expansion pack, just like uh, this one over here. I've already replaced it and sold the expansion pack separately. And uh, the nine games, uh, we've got, let's see, four, five, five left out of those nine. Uh, Quake, Tarzan, Namco Museum, Mario Kart 64 and Star Wars Shadow, Shadows of the Empire. This is actually a label upgrade for me, so I'll be putting this one in my collection, taking mine out and selling it separately. Now, unfortunately, I didn't notice this until I got home. This Mario Kart 64, although it has an authentic board, has a repro label. Look at that, how it's bubbled up. So, at one point, this somebody put a uh, a repro label on it and i didn't notice it while i was at the pawn shop but that's not going to be a big deal i'll um i'll list it as such and show the board authentic and uh get it sold and so we got those three games left out of that it did come with a uh, a memory pack as well two aftermarket um ocean blue uh, N64 controllers, and then I also picked up in that lot a copy of Super Bomberman on the Super Nintendo. Pretty nice condition label. It does have a little bit of sticker residue there at the bottom, as you can see. Other than that, no tears or rips. The back of it looks really clean. And then I picked up a um, a copy of New Super Mario uh, U, New Super Mario Brothers U, and Luigi U. From the pawn shop with a copy of pokemon sun pokemon sun has already sold and i'm going to trade this loose copy in to gamestop try to build up some um, trade-in credit so that when the ps5 launches this year uh, i'll have a lot of credit to uh, put towards that 
Then at another pawn shop, I picked up a copy of Persona 5 on the PS3 and the Action Replay DS. This sells anywhere between 30 to 40 bucks. Um, so I picked those two up for eight dollars. And then at another pawn shop, I picked this up for three dollars. And uh, both of these games are going into the collection. And I will resell the, the Action Replay DS to recoup my money, make some money, and put these games into my collection for free. And then at uh, the flea market today, I found one lone game. And that was NFL Blitz for the N64. It was pretty uh, nasty, but it cleaned up really well. Got that for a buck today. But there you have it, folks. Um, if you want to know more information about the Game Boys that I mod, uh, I can do all custom shells, custom buttons, new glass screens, uh, fully backlit, biverted. Here are two examples of some that I've done recently. This is a chocolate shell with the latte colored buttons, black screen. Um, but yeah, if you want to know any more information about these, uh, hit me up on my Instagram. It's always linked in the description, and I usually throw the link up once again in the pinned comment. And uh, if you have a personal Game Boy that you would like for me to work on, just send me a message and we can work out the details. But there you have it, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the bell icon so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.